mistakes that can cause you to overspend on food. How often do you go grocery shopping? Almost every day? And how often do you feel ripped off? Never? <laughs> that is hard to believe. It's okay to admit that now and then, you feel surprised and disappointed looking at your bills. You thought you knew what you wanted, yet the final amount you had to pay was much more than you expected. We rarely think of how some of our shopping habits are downright wrong. However, such seemingly trivial things can be a serious drain on our budget. To help you, Brightside has made a list of the most common shopping mistakes. You will learn how to get the best for your money without falling prey to marketing plots. Get ready to hear what shop owners and manufacturers never wanted you to know. 10. Shopping for products in the wrong order. That moment you go to a supermarket to get three tomatoes and march out of it with a cart full of groceries. Can you relate to it? Sometimes food just jumps into your shopping cart or begs to be purchased. The cereal with a cute big-eyed kitten on it, funny face carrots, juice that says, drink me. The shopping cart itself was designed to be full and you don't want to let it down. We often find it difficult to limit the number of items we buy at supermarkets, but there's nothing unrealistic about starting to choose more products that are good for our health. If you just can't resist filling your cart to the brim, try starting your shopping at the vegetable department. Greens and vegetables will take up lots of space, so there will be less room for the pricey and unhealthy stuff. 9. Not knowing the prices of products you buy regularly. We all have that type of cereal, pasta, and flavor of juice we buy all the time. Can you say exactly how much your favorites cost? Try to memorize or even write down the prices of the products you buy regularly. This will help you not to be fooled by fake sales when the price remains the same, yet the price tag screams about a massive reduction. Yes, they do not only do it at clothes shops, Sometimes that 30% off sign means that they took 30% out of 130%. Next time you go to the supermarket, you'll make fewer unplanned purchases and take better advantage of good discounts. 8. Not planning ahead We are sure you all have those shopping lists on your fridge. Maybe yours is topped with a cute magnet of a puppy wearing a cook cap? Aww. We are not only talking about your shopping list, but your home meal menus for the coming week as well. By pre-planning your meals from Monday to Friday, you'll always know which products to buy to prepare the dishes. This way, you'll be less likely to make useless purchases. So, what's for lunch on Tuesday? And do you have Friday dinner sorted out? Well done, you! 7. Not paying attention to the weight of the product any supermarket will proudly offer you shelves and shelves of what looks like identical content coming in various packages. Let's say there are two similarly sized packages of butter on the shelf, one of which is slightly cheaper than the other. Which one will you pick? Of course, it will be the cheaper one. Well, the answer should not be that obvious, right? Don't rush to buy the one that costs less. To begin with, check the product's weights. It might turn out that the pricier package weighs more. So in terms of the price to weight ratio, it'll make more sense to buy this item as opposed to the cheaper one. 6. Ignoring the store's brands We all like to shop for labels and big names. Admit it, you are more likely to be excited about a Chanel bag than a nameless one. It can become the subject of envy, don't we all want it sometimes, and a self-confidence booster. Well, you can save up some money for your next high-end fashion purchase by spending less on food. Almost every supermarket sells a variety of goods under its label. Such foodstuffs cost less than those produced by well-known manufacturers. At the same time, their quality is in no way inferior, and the only difference is in the less colorful packaging. Besides, such products are made by the same factories that service popular brands. And after all, you won't impress too many people with your fancy yogurt or sausage, will you? Do you feel much smarter shopping now? Keep watching, for the best is yet to come. 5. Not trying new products 
Times are changing, and we are too. We believe you have that sort of cookies you've loved since childhood, and that type of milk your grandma said was the best. But there is so much more out there. Manufacturers of new, little-known brands often sell quality goods at significantly lower prices. Don't be afraid to experiment. This will not only save you money, but also help you discover tastier and healthier foods. You can later proudly say you discovered that brand before everyone else did. Maybe it will become the new household name. Four, not keeping an eye on discounts. Make good use of technology to keep your shopping smart. After all, if you have an app to edit photos on your Instagram, a step counter, and five types of messengers, you can also get one for something that's important: food. There are special apps that collect information on discounts in supermarkets near you. Such programs allow you to compare prices on the same products in different stores to find the best offers. Never ever miss the deal of the year again. And we made it to our top three shopping secret tips. Knowing them will revolutionize your shopping routine. Ready, steady, go. Three. Avoiding inexpensive products. Imagine you get to choose between a brightly colored, expensive-looking, and actually expensive pack of sugar, and a plain white one which just says sugar. You will probably go for the first one unless you are a hipster and like to keep it simple. There is news for you: various cereals, sugar, salt, spices, and other similar products can be bought at very reasonable prices. For instance, ordinary packaged sugar is just as good as the products sold in attractive packaging. There is one universal truth you should remember: what's inside matters much more than the package, and it does not only apply to food. <laughs> Duh. Two, choosing items that are nearest to the front edge of the shelf. At every supermarket, you can see people who are digging through the shelves in sometimes funny, uncomfortable positions. They stick their heads in, then they pull something out of there and leave like winners. Ever made fun of them? Well, you shouldn't. They probably just know what to do to find the good stuff. To get the freshest products, always look at the back of the shelves. Shop employees are known to reserve the front of the shelves for food with a use-by date that's about to expire. One, falling prey to marketing ploys. Vegetable oil with vitamin E, salt without GMOs, eggs with orange yolks. All of these marketing gimmicks have a good effect on sales. Before you purchase any of these unique products, ask yourself if they're really so exclusive. Vitamin E is present in sunflower seeds, hence it's sure to be present in sunflower oil as well. On the other hand, GMOs can only be found in foods of plant or animal origin, so this excludes salt by definition. As for the brightly colored yolks, manufacturers achieve this by adding special components to chicken feed. In other words, don't let the special and unique fool you. Sometimes they are just words. Stay smart and shop like a pro. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, click subscribe and give thumbs up.